Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Championship Baseball. We have the finals of the junior division of the KBA underway here between the Blue Jays and the Rockies. And first pitch comes through at approximately 6 o'clock on the dot. And we'll start off with ball number one as the Rockies take to the plate first to get things kicked off here. As I said, this is the final game between the... The finals, it's the finals. We made it through the semifinals on Tuesday night as both these teams took easy wins against their opponents. So it all comes down to this today. I believe we're in a 3-0 count right now as we await this pitch. That one comes through, gets contact on that one, right in between first and second. The throw is in time, and that's going to be out number one of this ball game as the throw is good from the second baseman. So we one down, two to go in the top of the first inning for the Blue Jays, and we'll move... On in the order for the Rockies, that'll be Hudson up to bat now. We'll see what he can do here. As I'm sure both these teams would love to get off to a hot start here, as that would, you know, a hot a hot start, especially in a big game like this. Definitely, I mean, it's the way to go. And so now we'll go one on the count as that one just goes in the dirt, and we'll wait the next pitch here. This one comes in. Ooh, swing and a miss will be strike number one. We we'll move one and one now. As we await the next pitch now. So a one and one count. As that one comes, ooh, that one's gonna be high. We'll have to back away from that. So we'll go two and one. So that will be ball number two. And we'll await the next pitch here. That one comes in, gets contact now and chopped to third base. Can they get the throw to first in time? Ooh, the third baseman just can't get a hold of that one. So that'll be a single to kick things off for the Rockies in the hitting category. And we'll have a runner on first. And there'll be Evan up to bat now for the Rockies. So we'll see what Evan could do now. He's got a runner at first, as I said. So he's going to look to advance him and try to get him into more of a scoring position. Runner for first, going to go second, but a monster hit the left field. Will drop in time, so that'll be a base hit for Evan as he cranks that one to left. If he had a bit more heat on that, that could have been gone. But nonetheless, a good bit of momentum going the Rockies' way right here. We'll see if they can work with this as we'll have next up, we'll have Cam to the plate. So we'll see what Cam can do here with runners at first and second. A base hit would load the bases up. He gets that one high. Can someone get under it? The Blue Jays are going to run for it. And it, ooh, it just goes over to the Rockies dugout. So we'll have to go back right to the base. And so we'll go 0-1 in on the count as that will count as a strike. In the count here, so one out in the inning. Runner's going to steal the third. The throw to third is not in time as that one just skips out of the third baseman's glove. And so runner's going to go from first to second as he realizes he's got time. So we'll have runners at second and third now in scoring positions. A double would get the Rockies two runs on the board, but all they need is a base hit here to score a run. This Cam has got himself... A chance to pick himself up a pair of RBIs here. As well, wait the pitch. Here it is. Ooh, a swing and a miss will be strike number two. He goes two down on the count, and now he's got to work against it. We'll see what Cam can do here. He's two down in the count here, and we wait this pitch. And that'll be strike number three. As that will do it for Cam's at bat and go two down in the inning. So. Two outs, only one more needed to end it, and I'm sure the Blue Jays would love to get out of it here as there's runners on third and second and get out of this inning without any runs scored against them. But here we go. We'll await this first pitch as this is going to be Milo at the plate. As Milo waits as the next pitch here. He's going to wait for his perfect pitch. That one comes in and swings at that one. Can it stay fair? It will. And that will just drop the right field. So one run scores. And another one's going to come in. So Milo will pick himself up two RBIs and a double. And the Rockies get on the board first here early. Oh, that one's going to scramble through. And he's going to get the third now. And so a go. And he's going to get home. And inside the park home run for Milo as he picks himself a pair of RBIs and gets home after a couple errors from the Blue Jays outfield comes through Milo picks himself up and in the park home run as the Rockies take a 3-0 lead here early on in this ball game 
So that was an unfortunate pair of events. As I was focused on the runs coming in, I don't even see what happened with the errors in the outfield, but nonetheless, we'll move on to the next batter here. This will be Xavier at the plate. And the Blue Jays now, they're down three nothing. Gotta be careful here, this is a great start for the Rockies. There are two outs though, one more would end this inning. This one comes in, and it gets contact on the raid up. Can someone get under it? They can, and that will do it for the top of the first inning. Three run score for the Rockies as they get their hitting going early here, including an inside the park home run. So we'll head to the bottom of the first now with still lots more ball to play, and the Blue Jays will take to the bats their first time and see what they can bring to this ball game. As you know, that they've got that's got to hurt their confidence at least a little. It's still early on this ball game, so they can't let that get to them, but. Having an error like that, a crucial one that, you know, puts them down three runs early on, has got to affect them at least a little bit. So we'll see what they can do. As we'll have the bottom of the first inning underway in just a little bit as the Rockies will take the outfield and we'll see what they can do in the field. If they, I mean, they already look locked in, so we'll see how locked in they really are. As they just get finished warmed up here and we'll get this bottom of the first inning underway. In just a few moments. It's nice and sunny here, thankfully. A bit of rain earlier, but it seems to have slowed down tremendously. And now the sun's out. It's beaming. I even think I'm gonna get a sunburn from sitting here all game long. But we will see as Matt Catcher will come into position and we'll await the Blue Jays batter. As I said, we saw both these teams playing their semifinal games on Tuesday night. The Rockies winning 17-7 over the Mets, and the Blue Jays also taking a win over the White Sox. I believe it was also uh, by a big margin. I believe 13-7 to around that was the final score of that game. So both these teams got, have lots of star power, but we'll see what team will prevail in the clutch as we're in right now. The clutch finals game. There's got to be lots of pressure on them, so they've played all season long to get to this moment, so. Here we go. We'll get the bottom of the first inning underway here. As first off the bat for the Blue Jays will be Brady, and we'll see what he can do. So he is the first Blue Jays batter to lead things off here in the bottom of the first, so here we go. We'll await the pitch from the Rockies. Here it is, pitch number one is going to be hit. Right to the pitcher to throw to first is in time, and that will be out number one. Start things off strong for the Rockies and we'll go one down two to go in this inning a good start for them as they needed a strong start here so we'll have next batter come up that'll be Jack number 10 for the Blue Jays we'll see what he could do here as we await the pitch here it comes oh that one's gonna be inside we'll see a 1-0 count as that one will be ball number one And we'll await the next one here in a 1-0 situation for Jack's first at bat from the Blue Jays. That one's going to be hit. Raiden right between first and second. Can he get the first in time? The throw is there, and that'll be two down for the Rockies. Now only one more to go to get themselves a perfect inning here. We'll see if they can make that happen. As that'll be Graham up to bat now. We'll see what Graham can do here. He would love to keep this he would like to break through this slump the Blue Jays kind of have now as they've had back-to-back -back matters ground out. So we'll see what he can make happen here from the plate. 
as Graham will step up here and will await the pitch. This one comes in, and a swing and a miss will be strike number one. And we'll go 0-1 in the count now. So 0-1 now. Oh, that pitch will come in. No one's going to be inside. And I think that one got through the back catcher and hit the hump, but hump seems good, which is good. And so we'll go 1-1 one one in the count now. Is That one's going to be a ball. So Graham will wait his next pitch here. And nobody on base for the Blue Jays. And one out away from ending. One gets contact now. One right in between second and third. And that one will skip through the third baseman's glove. So the Blue Jays will get on base here in the bottom of the first inning. And that's going to be a base hit for Graham. And the Blue Jays, as we'll wait the next battle, will be Hayden up to bat now. And he's got a runner at first to try to make something happen with. So we'll see what Hayden can do here as we'll... Here we go. As Hayden will step up to the plate now. As he said, he's got Graham at first. Oh, and he's going to make sure Graham doesn't run. As I think Graham was about to go there, but he makes sure to pitcher at the mound for the Rockies, make sure that he's not going to go and he's going to stay. Here comes the pitch. That one goes through. Graham's finally go to a second now. The throw to second is not there in time. He's called safe at the bag. It was almost there. A phenomenal throw, but unfortunately just not there in time. Graham just a bit too fast. So we'll go back to the plate as he will be safe. That one comes in, gets contact on that one. Can he get underneath the second baseman? Oh, it goes through his glove, and Graham's gonna go home. Can he get home in time to throw? Is not there, he'll hold on to it, and that'll be a base hit as he's gonna stay at first base for the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays get on the board here and make it a 3-1 game now. That's a run score. And Hayden picks himself up an RBI single. As that'll be Simon up to bat now for the Blue Jays. And the Blue Jays get him a bit of momentum going their way as they had run score. So we'll see what Simon could do here with a runner at first. So here we go. We'll get this underway here as we'll await the pitch. It's delivered. Ooh, that one's going to be ball number one as that was just in sign. And they're going to make sure that Hayden stays where he is on first base. So, 1 0 count. This one comes in. And a swing and a miss will be strike number one. So, we'll go 1 and 1 in the count now as Simon just couldn't get contact on that. And now he's going to go to second. Can he get there in time? The throw is not there. He'll be safe and sound at second. And so now he'll be safe. And now a double gets him another run here. So we'll see what Simon could do. I believe he's in a 2-1 scenario. So two outs in the inning. Only one more would end it. So we'll wait the pitch. Here it comes. Strike two is the call. That one's good pitch from the Rockies. So if one more strike comes through, that would do it in this inning. We await the pitch in a potential inning-ending situation. And that one's in the dirt. We'll stay in it. 3-2, full count with two outs here. We could see the inning end with a strike, or could we see a walk and the Blue Jays keep going here in the bottom of the first. As we wait the pitch, ooh, and that one gets him in the leg. So... He'll get a walk out on that one, and the batter wins that count. So he'll take first base here. Now be Gavin up to bat now. And Gavin Taylor, number 14 for the Blue Jays. With runners at first and second here, a single would load the bases up. And so now we'll await the pitch. Here it comes. Strike one's the call. A goal one in the count. So that one was just inside over the plate. Here comes pitch number two. That one coming in a swing and a miss will be strike number two. So he's 0-2 in the count now and 
If one more strike comes through, that would end this inning and leave two runners on bases. So he's got to be careful here. As we'll await the pitch, here it is. And a swing and a miss will mean strike number three, and that will do it for the bottom of the first inning here. As the Blue Jays do get one, but unfortunately they leave runners at second and first, so they'll make it a 3-1 game, and we'll see a chance for the Rockies to increase their lead here as we'll head to the top of the second inning now. As both these teams just getting started here, the Rockies look strong, though, as you had some great hits in the top of the first and then some strong fielding there in the bottom to only allow one run. So we'll see what the Blue Jays can do from the field now if they can stop all the offense that the Rockies brought in the first here in the second. And so, we'll have the top of the second inning of the seven innings that we could play here in this finals matchup. So we'll have the top of the second inning and underway in just moments time. So here we go, we'll get the top of the second, second inning underway here. As we'll see Jack step up to the plate and he will lead things off for the Rockies. And we'll see what he can do here. As he would love to kick off things good and continue this good hitting we've seen from the Rockies so far, but that'll be strike number one. So we'll start 0 and 1 from the plate for Jack. That one comes through and we'll see strike number two as we'll go two in the count now. And a chance to find a strikeout here if one more can come through. I believe that's Brady at the mound for the Blue Jays. So this one will come through and that will be ball number one. So it'll be ball number one. We'll go one and two now. Is still one away from the strikeout so he's gotta be careful here. The pitcher definitely owns this count now. This one comes in. And that will be chopped up high. Can a Blue Jay get underneath of it? It's popped up high, and the shortstop will get there. So we'll see the first out of the top of the second inning due to a pop fly scenario, and we'll await the next batter. Up to bat next will be Alex for the Rockies. So now Alex with nobody on base will... Step up, it'll be ball number one. So 1-0 in the count as we wait the next pitch. That one comes in, ooh, he takes that one. That was a good pitch there. Just got over his bat though, so we'll go one and one. So 1-1 one, one count for Alex. Is that bat? That one comes through and he tips it. Just foul, so we'll see one and two count. If one more strike comes in, That'll be two down for the Blue Jays. Can they get the strikeout? As yes, this one comes in. Oh, gets contact that one right in between first and second. It will skip past the second baseman's glove and be a single for Alex in the Rockies and will kick off their hitting here in the top of the second inning. As Alex picks himself up a single and will await the next batter here. That'll be Aiden up to bat now. We'll see what Aiden can do. This one comes in. Ooh, just low is the call. So we'll go 1-0 and in the count. This one also comes in. Ooh, runner's going to go for the second. Can they get the throw in time? It's there, and the tag is there. And he's out at second base. They get him in time. So that'll be out number two of the inning as they catch the runner going. Phenomenal throw from the Blue Jays gets him. So, we'll stay at a 2 0 count for Aiden at the plate here with two outs now. So he's got to be careful. That one goes way outside. 
3-0 count. If one more comes through, that would do it. Oh, if one more walk, Paul comes through, pardon me, he'll get the walk. He gets a swing and a miss though, so the pitcher working against this will go 3-1. and one. 3-1 count as Brady throws this next one. And a swing and a miss will go 3-2. A full count scenario here at the plate. If one more strike comes through, well, that will be the end of here at the top of the second inning. So a crucial one for the Blue Jays. And there it is. That will do it for the top of the second inning. Brady at the mound works against it and finds three strikes in a row to end the top of the second there. So we'll head to the bottom of the second now with a 3-1 Rockies game still as the Blue Jays hold them scoreless there in the top of the second. So both these teams will just get prepared for a good, for a hard battle here in the bottom of the second as the Blue Jays will take back to the mats and being down by two, you know they'll be hungry to try and find two more runs to try to tie up this game or even cut the lead in half. And so now, the Rockies do have themselves a lead in this championship game, but the Blue Jays shown that it's not going to be an easy win. They can't just, they're not going to get many more easy runs as they did in that first inning as we saw an inside the park home run that got those three runs. And so the Blue Jays have looked more locked in since after that as I think they know that they can't let that happen again, especially the big game like this. So. So here we go. Batter will be called to the plane and we'll get this game back underway here in the bottom of the second inning. As next up to bat, I believe will be Henry for the Blue Jays. And here we go as we await the pitch. Here it is. Ball one will start us off. We'll go one and oh in the count. So 1-0, as we saw ball number one, that one comes in. Ball two, as that one's just down. 2-0 is the count. As we'll await the next pitch here. This one comes in, 3-0, as that one finds itself in the dirt. It was right back at the camera here. As you can see that nice little shake that we got. And so 3-0 in the count. The pitcher's got a battle against this, but we'll see if one more ball comes through, he'll get a walk. And we'll await the pitch. Potential walk here, let's see what happens. That one's inside, we'll see ball number four. And that'll be Henry who takes his base at first and kick the things off for the base running here for the Blue Jays and we'll see what he can do. And so next stop will be Nathan for the Blue Jays. That'll be strike number one. Someone just comes through the plate. So we'll go 0-1 on the count. He's got a run on first and would love to advance him. So you wait the pitch, here it is. Oh, it gets contact on one. Can it stay fair? It does, and it drops in time. And so there'll be a single. He's gonna go two, never mind, and they catch him in between first and second. They're gonna run, run him back and forth and see what happens here. The slide! is in time, so he's gonna be safe at the bag at first, and that'll be, Henry will get to third, so Nathan will pick himself up a single, and we'll have a runner at third now, so a scoring position here for the Blue Jays. And so now this one will come in. Ooh, takes a swing at that one. Can't get it though. They're gonna test first and he's gonna be safe. That's gonna be Campbell. 
at the plate now. Only needs a single to cut this lead in half. We'll see if he can find it. This one will come in. Just high, we'll go 2-0 and now. Oh, is they're gonna see if they can get him running? At first, just gonna run him down. The Mad Catcher gonna make sure everything's okay. And so now a 2-0 and in the count. As we await the next pitch, here it is. Takes a swing on that one, just chops it wide. So we'll go 2-1 and one, as that one will count as a strike in the count. Runners go from first to second. They're not going to decide to throw it as that one just got outside the back catcher's glove, and that will be another ball. So I believe we'll go three and one in the count now. Pardon me, two and two. Pardon me. So a chance for the strikeout here. If one more strike can come through, and we'll await it. Now would be a good start for the Rockies, and now it's going to be outside. We'll move full count at the plate here. So full count. Scenario, runners at third and second. Pitches in, strike three is the call as that one just finds its way over the plate. And so it'll be the first out of the inning for the Blue Jays. We'll go back to the top of the order now and it'll be Brady up to the plate. As I said, a double would tie up this game and that's all the Blue Jays would want right now. As that one comes in, strike one's the call. So we'll go 0-1 in the count now. So 0-1, that one comes in. 0-2, so that's gonna be strike number two. So pitcher is feeling himself here. We'll see if he can find another one to get his second strikeout of this game. Pardon me, of this inning. And a swing and a miss will be in strikeout number two for the Rockies starting to feel themselves here. With runners at third and second. Can the Blue Jays find a critical hit here in the bottom of the second inning? That's going to be Jack up to bat. So there's two outs. All the Blue Jays need is one more to end it. And that will be strike number one. We've got 0-1 in the count now. The, this Rockies pitcher is really feeling himself from the mound here. Having tons of strikes in a row, striking out the last two batters. That one's just going to be in the dirt. So we'll one and one. So one and one scenario here. For all the Rockies, do just one more out to end this inning. Ooh, that one's going to find its way over the top of the batter. Good duck from him. So we'll see two and one as that will be a ball. So two one count, and they're gonna go talk to the pitcher here, as I believe. Just gonna do a mound meeting. I'm not sure what about him. His game is pretty good so far. He's doing a phenomenal job. From the mound, he's just trying to find. I think just wants to go talk to him about trying to find this final out and not allowing at least a hit here because if a hit scores that cuts the lead in half and if a double comes through that ties up this game so just going to make sure he's all good to go two and one count with this critical at bat for Jack and the Blue Jays as we wait the pitch that one comes through strike is the call two two count and a chance to end the bottom of the second inning here if one more can come through. So we'll await the pitch from the Rockies. Here it is. And a swing and a miss will mean strike number three. And that will do it for the bottom of the second inning now as they get him swinging. So the Rockies battle against it. They had runners at third and second. But unfortunately for the Blue Jays, they could not find that final hit to try and get a couple runs to score. So we'll head to the top of the third now, where both these teams are ready to battle through it and the Rockies will take back to the plate. And trying to find some extra runs, trying to get some more runs going their way, so.
And so we'll see what the Blue Jays can do from the outfield. If they can defend. They did a great job there in the top of the second to defend off fallen runs. And we'll see a pitching change come through. It'll be number nine, Graham, stepping up to the mound. And we'll see what he can do here as that one comes blasting towards... Us and so we'll see what he can do here. If he can find his strive or if the Rockies can take advantage of a fresh pitcher. <laughs> so two more is called, so We'll get the top of the third inning underway in just a few moments. Can the Rockies extend their lead? They are already up by two. But you all know in a baseball game like this, a two-run lead is not the safest. So We'll see what they can do. So here we go. Batter's call to the plate. And we'll see what Graham from the mound can do here for the Blue Jays as Rockies batter will step in. I believe that'll be Braden for the Rockies and we'll see what he can do here as we await pitch number one at the bottom, top of the third. Strike one's the call. So we'll start off 0-1. That one comes in just inside. We'll go Ball number one, one one count for Braden at the plate here. It's Graham just looking to find his game. That one comes in. Strike two is the call. Safe to say he's feeling good. So we're one and two now. So we'll await the pitch here. Here it is. And a swing and a miss will mean strike number three. And that will do it for batter number one. For the Rockies, one down, two to go. For the Blue Jays. And so now we'll go back to the top of the order for the Rockies now. It'll be Colton at the plate. Strike number one's the call. Good pitch by Graham. The Rockies still trying to figure him out. He's got a nice fastball that catches a lot of batters off guard. That one comes through. Strike two is the call. So 0-2. Oh, and the Blue Jays looking for their second strikeout in a row here. Here it is. And a swing and a miss will mean strike number three. And that will do it for the second batter. Two down, one to go for the Blue Jays. One away from making it a perfect inning for them. We'll see if Graham can find the third strikeout as he's been phenomenal so far. As we'll see Hudson stepped up to the plate now and we'll see what he can do. As we'll wait pitch number one. Ball is the cow. So we'll go one and oh in the count as that one just goes a bit low. That one comes in. That one's gonna be just hit foul. It looked to be, I thought it was gonna be good contact, but unfortunately for the Blue Jays, that one, pardon me, the Rockies, that one was just hit foul. So we'll go one and one now. Then one gets hit right to the pitcher. The throw to first should be there in time. It's a light toss and there it is. That will do it for the top of the third inning. A perfect inning by the Blue Jays field and Graham at the mound. So we'll head to the bottom of the third now, still with a 3-1 Rockies game, which I mean we had since the bottom of the first. So both these teams doing phenomenal fielding and we'll see what they can, we'll see what the Blue Jays can do here in the bottom of the third, if they can bring some massive runs, which they would definitely like here. We'll see what they can do. As so the Rockies will take back to the field, the Rockies do have a two, Two run lead, but they can't, no lead is safe, especially in a championship finals game. Yeah. 
And so now, the Blue Jays will just get a little bit of a team talk in the dugout and try to discuss how they're going to go about this here in the bottom of the third. And so it looks to be first up to bat for the Blue Jays will be Graham, who pitched the last inning and did a phenomenal job finding three outs in a row. And so now, we're going to get a new pitcher going the Rockies' way. As I'll see what he can do from the mound here. Well, we see if Graham could solve him here early. Take advantage of this fresh pitcher here as the Blue Jays would love to being down by two right now. And so, I think we'll get final pitches in and we'll get the bottom of the third inning underway here. As I said, it'll be Graham who'll be leading things off for the Blue Jays. And so, here we go. 3-1 Rockies here early on and we'll see what the Blue Jays can do. As here we go, he'll get settled in. And play ball, the ump says. So here we go. We'll wait first pitch here with a new pitcher from the Rockies. That one comes in. And we'll see ball number one. So, 0-1 oh in the count. That one comes in. And then we'll see strike number one. As that one just goes over the plate. So one and one count. Called from the umpire. Let's wait the next pitch now. Here it comes. That one comes in, and that one's going to be down in the dirt. So we'll go two and one, as that one will just be a ball. So two, one count. Here for the Blue Jays here earlier on. They would love to get on base here, as that one comes in, and he gets a hit right to right field, and that one's going to get down. He's going to get the first with ease, and he's going to stay there. So Graham starts off the Blue Jays hitting here in the bottom of the third inning with a base hit, and so we'll see what they could do with that as we'll have next matter take to the plate, as I'll be Hayden, and we'll see if Hayden can try to advance the runner here now at first into more of a scoring position. The runner's gonna go to first to second. Can he get there in time? The throw is not there, and he'll be safe and sound at second base. Graham just trying to advance himself into more of a dangerous and scoring position here and he's done so well as he's at second now. So we'll await the next pitch here. This one comes through. Graham's not going to go to third. The throw to third is not in time as that one escapes the glove. And so he gets to third and now all they need is a base hit to cut this lead into half with Hayden at the plate. And so now, that one comes in. That one's just gonna be high. I believe that's Hudson at the mound for the Rockies. So this one comes in. Ooh, and now it'll be a strike. So that was a good pitch right down the middle. I believe it's three and one is the count, so. Can we see a walk here for the Blue Jays? That one comes in. Ball four is the call. We will see one as Hayden will take first base. And we'll have runners at third and first now. And 
And so next up will be Simon to the plate now, and all he needs is a base hit here. That one comes in. That one's going to be way wild. So we'll see ball one and start off 1-0 in this count. It says we'll win the next pitch here. This one comes in. That one's also going to be high. We'll go 2-0 as the back catcher just making sure that runner at first does not go. As they definitely do not want runners at third and second with zero outs here in this game. That one comes through in a swing and a miss. will be strike number one. Good pitch from Hudson there to find the first strike of this count. We'll go two and one. She takes a look at both the bases here, make sure no one's going to steal. That one comes in. Strike is the call. Two, two. And a chance for a strikeout here if one more can come through. We'll see if he can find it. In a good scenario it is. Here's the pitch. Just outside. Move to full count here. Pardon me. Three, two. Full count scenario here from the plate. If we see a walk that would load the bases up, here it is. Way outside, that will load the bases up for the Blue Jays here. With no outs so far here in the bottom of the third. So we'll see what they can do here as Gavin will step up to the plate. Bases loaded now for the Blue Jays. And an opportunity now to get some runs. But that one just tipped back, so we'll see a ball. Pardon me, a foul. And now will count as a strike in the count. We'll go 0-1 now. For Gavin at the plate. This one will also come in. Gets contact on that one right past the pitcher's glove. Can he get the throw to home in time? The throw is not there. He's called safe at the plate. And so a run will score, and they make it 3-2 as they cut the lead in half. So close at the plate, it could have gone either way. And so the bases will still lo still be loaded for the Jays here. As that'll be Gavin who picks himself a base hit and an RBI. And makes it three to two now. As this will be Henry up to bat now. This one comes in. And we'll see ball number one. That one was just off. So 1-0 count with the bases loaded. That one comes in. 2-0 as that one was just off. Two O count at the plate here. We await the next pitch. Here it is. Just high. We'll go 3-0 now. If a ball comes through, that would tie up this game. So Hudson at the plate has got to be careful here. And so now he's got to be careful here. We'll await the pitch in a critical scenario for the Blue Jays. Strike one's the call. Good play from the Rockies pitcher here to battle back, but he's still got to find two more. In a 3-1 count now. With the bases loaded, here comes the next pitch. Strike two is the call. So he's battling back and he's battled to a full count. As his next pitch will depict what is gonna happen. Can we see a walker? Will we see a strikeout? Here it comes. Ball four is the call. And so we'll see a walk. For the Blue Jays, and another run will score, making a 3-3 game. All tied up here in the bottom of the third inning, still with the bases loaded. And so now they'll take a minute at the mound just to talk to Hudson and try to see where he's at right now. As the bases are loaded, he's given up two runs. And so now we'll continue. As I believe that'll be Nathan at the plate now. We'll see what Nathan can do here. As we await this one. It's way outside. We'll see ball number one. And go 1-0 and in the count. As we await the next pitch here in a 1-0 scenario, we cannot allow another walk because that would give the Blue Jays a lead. Strike is the call. We move 1-1 one, one now. Come on. 
So, 1-1 one, one count here with the bases loaded. I don't know. I believe there's only nowhere's one out in this inning. That one's just going to be outside. We'll go 2-1. and one. So, 2-1 count. At the plate here, this one comes in. Strike two is the call. I'm going to throw the first. Can they get the tag? He's called safe at the bag at first base. Oh, he's called out. As I believe he stepped off the bag and they get the tag then. So that will be an out. And I believe that's going to be the first out. A phenomenal play to unload the bases here by the Rockies. Good pick off from them. And that will be a ball. 3-2 count. Full count scenario here at the plate as we'll await the pitch. Someone comes in, way high, we'll see ball number four, and that will load up the bases here. Oh, and they get the runner at third off, and can they get him out? Oh, and now it just slips through the glove. I think the third runner at third forgot that the bases were not loaded from that out that happened at first. And I think he decided just to go home. And so now, one out, as he was safe at third, and we'll have the bases loaded one more time. This will be Campbell at the plate. Ball one's the call. So that one was just high. So we'll go one and oh. That one comes in. Strike is the call. So we'll go one and one in the count now. So 1-1 one, one count as we await this one. Now we're just going to be outside. We'll go 2-1 and one as that will be a ball. So this one also comes in. Ooh, just fouls that one back. Barely misses contact on it. And so that will count as a strike though in the count. So 2-2 two, two is the call from the ump. If one more comes through, we'll see the first strikeout of this inning. And go two down. Here it comes. Just high is the call. So we'll go three and two now. In a full count scenario. Here we go. This next pitch to picks a lot. Ooh, he just fouls it, so he'll stay in it at a full count. Because he just got contact on that one. Unfortunately for him, just wasn't enough contact to play it fair. And so we'll await this next pitch. Ball four is the call. So the Blue Jays will take the lead as a walk comes through. And they make it a four to three game now. Good on the Blue Jays to battle back here. And so we'll go back to the top of the order as Brady will be up to bat still with the bases loaded and only one out. Here's pitch number one. Swing and a miss, strike number one for the Blue Jays. So one down, two to go. As this one will come in, swing and a miss, we'll see strike number two. And the pitcher owns this count now. All he needs is to find one more to get the strike out here. And that would be a crucial one as we'll wait the pitch. That one comes in and he just fouls that one back so he'll stay in it at 0-2. So he's 0-2 in the count now. And we'll await the next pitcher. That one comes in. He gets contact on that one, but that one just goes foul. So we'll have to regroup back at the plate. And he'll stay 0-2. As he tried to get contact on that one. But unfortunately just couldn't. So. Just couldn't get a fair, so bases will stay loaded and will stay 0-2. That one comes in, and he swings at that one, and that one will be strike number three in the second out of this inning. And so 
the Rockies have a chance now to try to find the last final out of any bag. And I would love to find it as they've already gave up three here in the bottom of the third. So that will be Jack now up to bat. And we'll see what he can do. This one comes in. Ball one's the call. We'll go one and oh. This one also comes in. Ooh, can he get contact? Can it stay fair? It's called foul. And so everybody will stay at their bases. And Jack will have to regroup back at the plate here. So 1-1 one, one count off that foul ball for Jack at the plate. As we await this next pitch, here it is, way outside. We'll go 2-1. and one. So that will be a ball. So 2-1 count. And we'll await the next pitch here. Here it comes. Ball is the call. It was just outside. 3-1 count for Jack. And if he finds one more ball comes through, We'll see another run score, and they'll make it a 5-3 Blue Jays game. So Hudson and the Rockies got to be careful here. That one comes in. Strike is the call. We'll move to a full count scenario. And so Jack's going to be careful here as we await a potential inning ending pitch. And ball four is the call. And so a run will score for the Blue Jays. And they'll make it a 5-3 game now as they take a two-run lead here in the bottom of the third inning. But still lots of ball left to play. So Graham will step up to the plate now. And he's got runners at every base. Bases loaded scenario. Gets on on that one. Can a Rocky get underneath of it? They can't. That one will drop. One run will come in. And a second run is going to come in. And pardon me, that will be five runs will come in. And we'll see a 6-3 game here as the Blue Jays reach the mercy rule and get five runs in that inning to end it. So we'll head to the top of the fourth now in a whole different ball game. The Blue Jays up by three. to make it a 6-3 game. And so the Rockies, you know, they came in confident and that might hurt their confidence a little bit, but they still gotta be, they still gotta be on their game here. They can't let that get to them. As Graham will step back up to the mound. He had a phenomenal top of the third inning. So we'll see if he can repeat this here in the top of the fourth. And so we'll, the Rockies will prepare here to try to make some sort of a comeback. They still have lots of ball to play as we're just over, or just at halfway through this ball game. is a seven inning game we have here. So this game going by quite fast though as we're just approaching about an hour in and we're already here in the top of the fourth. And so, the Blue Jays will finish up their fielding warm-up and we'll get this top of the fourth inning here underway between these teams. And so here we go. We'll get this game underway here. Back underway here in the top of the fourth inning. As that one comes in and we'll see ball number one here in the top of the fourth. So 1-0 count. That one's going to be in the dirt. We'll go 2-0 in the count. As that one will just be low. 
And Graham still trying to find himself here at the mound for the Blue Jays. He found himself on the top of the third, but you know it's a whole new inning now. So gets contact on that one. Way foul in the uh, in the crowd. So lucky fan gets that one and. We'll go back to the plate here. As we await the pitch, there it is. Takes a rip on that one. He'll foul that one off as well, though. So we'll go one and two in the count now. One away from the strikeout. If Graham could find it. Pardon me, two, two is the count. So if one more strike comes through, that'll be the first out in the top of the fourth inning here. As we await the pitch, gets contact on that one, and that's going to be a base hit for the Rockies. He's going to decide to go two. He's going to stay at one. So he cranks that to right field and picks himself up a base hit. And so now we'll see Cam up to bat here for the the Rockies is they're going to test Evan at first, and he's going to be safe and sound at first. So Cam got a runner to work with at first, and his team being down by three runs, he would love to try to advance them here and even get on base himself. So we'll await the pitch here. Here it comes. That's going to be ball number one. As yes, we'll go, a one one. Pardon me, one and zero on the count here. As we await the next pitch. Oh, they're going to try to test first again, or maybe they weren't. So he'll stay. And so now, here comes the pitch, and he gets contact on that one. Chopped right to third. The throw to second is there, and they get him out, and they're going to test first. They're not. Cam's going to be there in time. And they're going to call him safe in second there. I'm not sure what happened is... I'm not sure. I think they're going to call him safe at second base. Is I believe the shortstop is arguing that he was there in time. But unfortunately for him, he's going to call him out. And so now we'll have runners at first and second. With Milo up to bat now, the runner's going to go to third and second. They're both going to steal, and they're both going to get there. And so now, a double would pick themselves up two runs and put this into one run difference. But nonetheless, a single would at least get them one run back. And now it will be a swing and a miss. So we'll see a strike. I believe one and one in the count. As we await the next pitch here. As here's the pitch. Ball is the call. One, two. I believe a chance for the strikeout here if one more could come through. We'll see if Graham could find it for the Blue Jays and get the first out of the inning. Tipped back, he'll stay in it. So, still one and two as he'll stay in it with that foul off. That one comes in, gets good contact on that right to right field. So one run will score. And Cam's gonna round third and he's also gonna get home. And two run scorers, that will be Milo who picks himself up an RBI, two RBIs, single. So it's now a 6-5 game now. As only one run separates these two teams. As Milo will find himself at first base and we'll see what they can do now. He gets contact on that one right in between third and second. That one gets clean. And so it'll be a base hit 
for Xavier. And he'll get runners at second and first now. The Rockies feeling themselves. And they'll see if they can work off this. So this will be Jack now at the plate. And he has an opportunity now if he picks himself up a double to tie up this game. Is there only one run down? That one comes in way in the dirt. And so runners are going to go. And they're going to get there with lots of time to spare. And so now they're going to go have a mound meeting. With Graham at the mound, you know. He really found himself there in the top of the third, but he hasn't, he's a little bit shaky here in the top of the fourth. So they're going to go talk to him, see what he's thinking, and try to figure something out as we're just over an hour into this ball game, and only one run separates the two. As they got runners at third and second here, so the Rockies, a base hit ties up this game. So we'll see what they can do here. And so here we go. Well, the wait to pitch, here it comes. Ball is the call. 3-0 and is the call from the ump. Meeting, if one more ball comes through, we'd see the bases loaded here for the Rockies here in the top of the fourth inning. Here's the pitch. Gets contact on that one. It's chopped right in between second and third. They're going to throw to home. The throw is not in time as that one skips through the glove. And so a run will score. He's going to go to second now. The throw to second is not there as that one skips through the glove and two runs come through. And so the Rockies take the lead here as it's now a 7-6 to six game as two runs come through. So now the Rockies back in command with runners at second. A great battle back there as he was down 3-0. And the pitcher, unfortunately, just couldn't try to find a couple strikes as he gets contact on that one. And a couple errors from the back catcher there. That one slipped through, so he'll be safe. Ooh, and that one's going to catch him right in the shoulder. The umpire, so I believe the shoulder. He's going to have to take a moment there. I think that one caught him in the ear. That was a really fast one, too. It got fouled back. and He's going to take a moment here. <laughs> this really looks okay, which is phenomenal to hear. And We'll get this game back underway. And so we'll get this game back underway. Now runner's gonna go to third. The throw to third is not there in time. He'll stay safe at third. And so, They'll take time just to fix the third base bag. And now, this game, 7-6 for the Rockies and runner at third. A chance for the Rockies even to pick up another run here if they get a single. So there's now a runner at third as he stole two bases to get there. Or pardon me, I, stole, I think he just stole one just to get the third. So here we'll go, we'll continue this at bat. It's a 1-1 count. That one comes in, and we'll see strike number two. As that one just finds itself over the plate. So one, two count, a chance for a strikeout here if they, if Graham and the Blue Jays can find one more. Here's the pitch, just high. Two, two is the call. So two, two count as we wait the pitch. Here it comes, ball is the call. It was just low. So we'll do a full count here. And this pitch is going to mean a lot as the Blue Jays need to get out of this inning. It's to give up four runs so far. 
And there's a runner on third. Don't want to give up another one. Strike is the call. And that will do it. And that will be the first out of here in the top of the fourth. And so now, I believe we'll see Aiden step up to the, ooh, and that one's going to be high. Except this is Aiden at the play here. He'll kick off his app at 1-0. and As that one comes in, just high again. We'll go 2-0. and So 2-0 count. From Aiden's app at, that one comes in. Strike is the call. Two and one. That one was right over the plate. All the Rockies need is a base hit to score a run, and they would love to find it. As this one comes in. Strike is the call. Strike two. And so we'll go two and two now. As this one comes in. Strike three is the call. Is the Graham at the mound throws three strikes in a row and gets him gone. So we'll see two outs now in the inning and only one more needed to end it here in the top of the fourth. This will be Braden up to bat now for the Rockies. And so first pitch comes in. That one's going to be wild. We'll see ball number one. So ball one, that one comes in, strike one's the call. We'll go one and one as that one goes right over the plate. So Graham starting to feel himself a bit more as this one, next one comes in. Swing and a miss will be strike number two. And if we see one more strike come in, the Blue Jays will get it out of this one. With only one run separating the two, can we find it? Ball's the call. So 2-2 two, two count at the play here as this next pitch comes in. Strike three is the call, and that will do it for the top of the fourth inning. The Blue Jays allow four runs, and the Rockies take the lead again as we'll have a 7-6 game now. Only one run separates the two. And so we'll head to the bottom of the fourth now. I believe that means we're just over halfway through this game. And the Rockies take the outfield, and we'll... Attempt to defend off everything the Blue Jays have going, will bring their way. So the Blue Jays would love to try to tie up this game or even take the lead. As they don't need too many runs to try to take the lead. And so they'll get to the dugout and try to hype up their boys. The Blue Jays do. And so I believe we'll see a pitching change come out for the Rockies. And so, as I said, both these teams battled on Tuesday night to make it here in this finals matchup. They worked hard all season long, and it comes down to this. Two of the most competitive teams here in this league. And so, balls will be called in, and that means we'll have the bottom of the fourth inning on its way in just a moment's time in this finals matchup between the two. Both these teams, only one run separates the two. It's still anybody's ball game as we're just over halfway through it. And so here we go. We'll get it back underway here. And so here we go. We'll get the bottom of the fourth inning underway here as we'll see Hayden up to bat first as this one comes in. Being the dirt, we'll see ball number one. 
and kick things off 1-0 in the count. So we'll await the next pitch and a pitching change. We'll see how this pitcher's feeling. Can that one stay fair? It's called fair, so he'll go one. And he's going to get to two. The throw is not in time. So a double for Hayden as he picks himself up it. And so that's a good start for the Blue Jays being down by one. So that means a double would get them a run and will tie up this game. So here we go. It'll be Simon at the plate now. We'll see what he can do here. As this pitch comes in, ball one's the call. We'll go 1-0 and in the count now. The next one comes in, a swing and a miss will be strike number one. We'll go 1-1. One, one. So Simon, he's got zero outs, so not too much pressure against him, but his team is down by one. That one's in the dirt, so runner's going to go over to third now, and they're not going to decide not to throw it. And so he'll be safe at third, and we'll keep this game going now. Two and one count as our last one was in the dirt. So we'll await the pitch. Here it is, it's delivered. Gets contact now with Chopped right in between third and second. The throw to first is in time, and now he will be called out, but a run will score. So nonetheless, Simon takes one for the team, gets himself out, but a, gets picks himself up in RBI, and it's a 7 7 ball game. All tied up at seven apiece here in the bottom of the fourth with one out now, and this will be. Gavin up to bat for the Blue Jays with no runners on any basis. He'll just look to get on base and that'll be strike number one. As we await the next pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss will mean strike number two. And a chance to find a strikeout here if one more can come through in an 0-2 count. The Rockies would love to find out. It's just tied up this game. They get hit right in between third and second, and that one just pops up above his glove. So that will be a base hit for the Blue Jays. As Gavin will find himself at first. And so now those will be Henry up to bat. He's got a, with a runner at first. As that pitch comes in, ooh, that one's going to be inside. So, runner at first, that one just going to be high. We'll see a ball. So, 2 0 count. Called from the umpire. That one comes in, and we'll see that one just be outside as well. 3-0 count. If we'll see a ball, that would put runners at second and first. So we'll await the pitch. As the pitcher's up against it here. Strike one's the call. He's going to battle against it. We'll go 3-1 and one now. That's 3-1 count. That one comes in. Ball four is the call. As that one was in the dirt. So we'll see runners at second and first now. As now, the Blue Jays would love to try to take a lead here. As all they need is a double to get it, so we'll see if they can find it. We'll move on in the count. This is Nathan. Swing and a miss, strike one. So he'll go 0-1 in the count. As this pitch comes in. Ooh, we're going to be in the dirt. Runners are going to go to third and second now. It's by Bo Steele. The throw to third is way off and won't be there in time. And so now, runners at third and second here and in a 1-1 one, one count. As we'll await the pitch here. Ooh, that one's going to be way inside. Two and one count now. So 
So we'll see what the Blue Jays can do here. That one comes in way in the dirt. We'll go th three and one. Because if one more ball comes in, that will load the bases up for the Blue Jays. And they could work with that there. They would definitely like to see that. As we'll see it, the pitcher needs to battle against it though. As we wait to pitch, gets contact on that one. Right to right field. Can a Rocky get underneath the fit? They can't, that one will drop. And so a bit of confusion there to throw home. It's not gonna be in time, a run will score. And that'll be Nathan who picks himself up a double. And so the Blue Jays will take the lead here as a run scores and they'll make it eight to seven now. In this game as they take the lead with that double RBI, with the RBI double by Nathan. And so now, this will be Campbell up to bat with runners at third and second. So we'll see what he can do. That pitch comes in, swing and a miss, strike number one. So we'll go 0-1 to kick off this at-bat. As we await the next pitch, that one comes in. Just outside, we'll go 1-1. One one. So that'll be ball number one. Remember, if we see a walk here, that would load the bases up, but I believe there's only one out so far, so the Rockies would really like to find it out here. That one comes in. Strike is the call. We'll go 1-2. and two. So That will be strike number two. So, if one more strike comes through, that would do it for the zap. Bat gets contact, and that'll be way foul. So we'll stay in there at one and two. So we'll see what he can do now. We wait the pitch, but Pranto, strike out. It's not gonna be called, we'll stay two and two. That one comes in. Ooh, that one's going to be way inside. So, I believe a three and two count. We could see full count scenario here. What will happen? Ball four is the call. As that one was just a bit low. So, he'll take first. And we'll have the bases loaded here for the Blue Jays and an opportunity to take a lead with the bases loaded. And you know they'd love to do it. Oh, we'll go back to the top of the order now. There'll be Brady up to bat. And he'll foul that one off. We'll go 0-1 to kick off Brady's at bat with the bases loaded. And so now we'll await the next pitch. That one comes in, gets contact on that one right to first. They're gonna throw home, it is there in time. So he's gonna be out at home. And so he'll be out number two. So the Rockies do a good job throwing that one home instead of first so they don't allow a run. But the bases will still be loaded and we'll have two outs now in this inning. So we'll see Jack now up to bat. We'll see what Jack could do here with the bases loaded. That one comes in. We'll see ball number one. As that was kicked off is that man one to know. For Jack now at the plate. He's got runners at first, second, and third. Bases loaded. And the Blue Jays only up being up by one. Have a great opportunity to get some more runs on the board. We'll see a strike. We'll go one and one now. That one comes in, just low. Two and one is the call, and you know the Rockies would love to find it out here and not another walk. As if another walk comes through, that would score another run here for the Blue Jays. That one comes in, he takes the swing, and that'll be a swing and a miss, so we'll go strike number two. Two and two count, if one more comes through for the Rockies, that would call the end of this inning. We'll see if they can find it here. 
As we await the pitch, here it is. Stays in it, just fouls it off. As he just doesn't get contact there. So 2-2 two, two count still. As we'll await the pitch, here it is. Just outside, we'll go three and two, full count for Jack at the plate. And the Rockies would love to find a strike and end this inning here as the Blue Jays have already got two, but the Blue Jays would not want to leave the bases loaded. And a run will score as that'll be ball number four. And so it'll be a nine to seven game now as we'll see a walk. And so the Blue Jays one away from the first team to reach double digits. And so that'll be Graham up to bat now. We know he can hit and he can pitch, so we'll see what he can do here. As that one comes in, good contact on that. A hard hit ball to left field. And that one will just go foul. A massive hit on that one. And so now he just missed, I believe he hit it in the car territory. That was a bomb, but it just goes foul. And so that will be a strike. We'll go in two in the count. Oh, can he get out of the first? They can as they get him running at first base. Too much of a leadoff. So that will end the inning. The Blue Jays leave the bases loaded and unfortunately can't get a run. Well, they did get two runs to score with the bases loaded, but they can't finish it off. So we'll stay nine to seven. And we'll head to the top of the fifth inning now. With a two-run lead going the Blue Jays' way, but a chance for the Rockies to battle back and try to get some runs of their own here. As this game is just going, getting more interesting and interesting as the innings go on. It's a 9-7 to seven game for the Blue Jays. We started off with a Rockies lead for a couple innings. It was only a 3-1 game. And now the Blue Jays have themselves a two-run lead, but the Rockies take back to the plate now and have an opportunity to get themselves a lead here. And so now, the Blue Jays will take the outfield and get prepared here for the start of the top of the fifth inning. They've had good fielding, but we'll see if they can continue that here going in the top of the fifth. We'll see a pitching change come in as well. So we'll see number 12, Nathan, come to the mound. See if you can follow up Graham, who Graham did phenomenal for his two innings that he pitched, but we'll see what Nathan can follow that up. And so now, We'll get the top of the fifth inning underway in just a few moments' time as the Blue Jays finish up their fielding warm-up. So the Rockies will take their time in the dugout and really make sure they're ready to try to make a two-run comeback here as they still got a couple innings to go. But we're in the fifth now. We only have seven to play, so we'll see what they can do. 
These balls are called in, so you know what that means. It means we're close to start time. And so now here we go. We'll get the top of the fifth inning underway here as the Rockies will take back to the plate. And we'll see what they can do. We'll go back to the top of the order as well. We'll see Colton at the plate to kick things off. Top pitch comes in. That'll be outside. We'll see ball number one. So we'll start off 1-0. As this pitch comes in, we'll go 2-0. Oh. As that one will be up high. And so now, 2-0 oh count. As that one comes in, ooh, that one's gonna be in the dirt. As he gets hit by that one, so he'll take a walk to first, and that will kick things off for the Rockies. So, Runner at first. So Hudson will be up to bat now and he'll take a last minute preparation to make sure he's all good. So he'll step back up to the plate and we'll see what he can do now. He's got a runner at first and would love to advance him here with zero outs. And so we, he awaits his first pitch. They're gonna take a look at first and make sure he's not running and he's good. So first pitch comes in, a swing and a miss will mean strike number one. He'll go down 0-1 in the count. That pitch comes in, strike is the call. We'll go 0-2 and, and one away from the strikeout here if the Blue Jays can find it. That pitch comes in, ball is the call and runner's gonna, Colton's gonna go to second. And he's going to get there with lots of time. So one, two count. Call from the umpire. So that pitch comes in. Takes a swing at that one right to left field. And the Blue Jays get under it though. So that will be out number one. As Hudson got good contact on that one. But a good catch by the left fielder. To get the out. And so now runner at second for the Rockies and see if the Blue Jays can find two more here in the top of the fifth. Contact on that one gets fouled high. Everyone's gotta get out of the way in the crowd for that one. So we'll start 0-1 as that one's fouled. So while well, await his next pitch here, so this will be Evan at the plate. They're gonna start. They're gonna, they're gonna check runner at second. He's all good. So we'll go back to the mound now in the pitch. As I said, that's Evan at the plate now. He's 0-1 in the count with that last foul. This one comes in. Balls the calls. That one was just inside. So we'll go one and one in the count now. This one comes in. That one's gonna be low. Runner's gonna go to third. The throw to third is not in time. He's called safe at the bag. And so, runner at third. A base hit would score them another run and cut this lead in half. And that'll be Evan up to bat. This one comes in. Takes a good swing on that one. That one will just go foul. And so he'll have to go back to the plate now and he'll go two against him. And so a chance for a strikeout here. If the Blue Jays can find one more. So he'll step up to the plate. Two, two count call from the ump. And here's the pitch. Ooh, right over top of him. He has to get down for that one. So we'll go full count scenario. 
at the plate here. Will the Blue Jays find the out or will the Rockies get a walk or even a hit? Here it is. They get a hit off that one right to first. Can he beat the runner to first in time? He can't. So a run will score, but we'll see an out at first base. So two down, one to go in a 9-8 game now. And now only one run separates these two teams. As that'll be Cam up to bat. And we'll see what Cam can do. Uh, so they're gonna and so now Cam at the plate. That one comes in. That was just gonna be high. We'll see ball one. So no runners on any bases. He's all alone here with two outs. And now we wait this pitch. That one comes in. That one's gonna be in the dirt. And Sal will go 2-0. Nathan at the mound is doing a good job here for the Blue Jays. He's only allowed one run. So we'll look to continue that. He's got two outs. He only needs to find one more. But with Cam at the plate, we'll see if that happens. That one's going to go over him. 3-0 count. One away from the walk. We'll see if we'll find it. Sal one comes in. And a swing and a miss will mean strike number one. We'll go three and one in the count now. So three one count. That pitch comes in. That'll be ball number four. He'll take a walk to first. And he'll stay there. And so now the Rockies have something to work with with a runner at first. And this will be Milo up to bat now. Time is called. They're going to have a mound meeting just to see if they could find the final out. And so now they'll discuss on what to do here in this game and how they're going to get through it. And so here we go. Everyone will take back to their positions. Two outs. As I said, they just want to find that final one with a runner at first. And Milo at the plate here. Here we go. Is they going to try to test him? No, they're just going to stay. So that pitch comes in. That one's going to be fouled back. So Cam, who's going to go to second, has got to go back to first. Is he trying to steal second? And so Milo at the play here. Now Cam's going to go to second. And he's going to get there. The strike is the call for Milo. So he'll go down 0-2 in the count now. And if one more strike comes through, that would do it. For this top of the fifth inning here. So Milo's got to be careful. Oh, now his cam's going to go to third. The throw to third is in time. Oh. Part of me, I'm. And so. And so he's going to be called safe at third. As I believe we had a. The pitcher just like stopped his um, routine midway through. So it matches up the flow of the game. So. He'll get a free base and only ball. 2-2 two, two count at the play here. If one more comes through for Milo, that would do the end 
off his at bat and the top of the fifth inning. So here it is. And a swing and a miss will do it. The Blue Jays find it and they don't get the out. And I think that's it right there. I believe that's gonna call the end of this ball game and the Blue Jays are your champions as they take this game nine to eight in a thrilling of an ending. Oh. Pardon me. Um, official call from the ump is we're gonna play the rest of it, so. And so now, I believe we're gonna see a bottom of the fifth here. I think, what I think there is the Blue Jays thought it was over. And so, I believe here's what the ruling is gonna be. So, we have a two hour time limit. And everyone's still wondering what's gonna happen here. And so, I'm still finding everything out. And so, I think the Rockies they have four minutes here to find three outs. And if they can't, this game will end right here as we're in the bottom of the fifth inning now in a one-run game. As what an interesting ending here. As well, I guess we'll get the bottom of the fifth inning underway here. That one comes in, takes a good swing on that one. It's gone to left field, and it stays in play. Just barely a bomb from Graham, who picks himself up a double, almost a home run, but couldn't find it. That one just drops at the fence. Unfortunately for Graham, couldn't find himself a home run. So close, but just wasn't enough. And so now, this will be Hayden at the plate. Now strike number one's call, we'll go one. So a one count for Hayden's at bat. That one comes through. He's gonna go to second now. Pardon me, the third, and that one just gives past the third baseman. And so he'll be safe at third base. And so now, runner at third. As Hayden waits his next pitch, is going to be in the dirt, then, so that's going to be a ball. 2 1 count called from the ump. And this game has got to be approaching. The end here is we're getting close to it. So runner at third, a base hit, scores the Blue Jays another run and gets them the double digits. So we'll see if they can do it here. That one comes in. Strike is the call. Move two and two now. And a chance for the strikeout here if one more can come through for the Rockies. So here's the pitch. And ball is the call. We'll move to full count. That's the the mound and we'll see what Milo can do here. So here comes the pitch and a swing and a miss will mean strikeout for the Blue Jays. So one down, two to go. And so Milo, bit confused there, but we're good to keep going. Allen comes in, strike one's the call. 
We go 0-1-1 in the count now. I think the Rockies are running out of time here. Is we want to see if we can get a new inning started. We'll go 0-2. Now one comes in, just high, we'll go one and two. Just ball, we'll go two, two now. That one was just outside. And so now we'll await the next pitch. That one comes in, that one's gonna be inside. We'll go three and two, full count scenario. At the mound, can Milo find one more and get the second strikeout here? Would love to find it. Strike three is the call, there it is. So two outs now. And so we're gonna keep going in this finals matchup. As just a moment ago, we thought the Blue Jays had won it, but turns out we're gonna play another one. Another inning, pardon me, and so that's going to be just inside. We're going to see ball one. So that pitch comes in. Strike number one's the call. So with a swing and a miss, so we'll go one and one now. As we'll await the next one here in a one-one scenario. Here's the pitch. Ball is the call, we'll go two and one as that one was just inside. And so now Milo throws that next one. Strike is the call, we'll go two, two. And a chance for a strikeout here if we could see one more which would end this inning. As we'll await the pitch from Milo, it's a critical one. Can he find it? Yes he can. That will be strike number three. And I think that will do it from both these teams. And now the Blue Jays can officially celebrate your junior division champions, the Blue Jays, in a 9-8 game over the Rockies. A phenomenal play by both these teams. But the Blue Jays end it in the fifth inning in a 9-8 game. Phenomenal game. The Rockies had the lead early, but couldn't hold on. And the Blue Jays take the win and the championship. And so handshakes come across, and we'll see medal ceremony in just moments' time. It's a phenomenal game by both these teams. Both these teams should be proud of how it went, and... We'll get medal ceremony and everything underway here. As we saw both these teams in the semifinals on Tuesday. Phenomenal game by both these teams. They know they deserve to be here. They played, they destroyed their opponents in those finals. Pardon me, in those semifinals. And so we knew it was going to be a tough matchup heading into the finals. And I mean, it certainly was. Only one run was the difference. And so shout out to our umpires and our official volunteers as them and the coaches. We couldn't do it without you guys. Okay, so we're gonna give away two awards here. And so this one, first award is for sportsmanship, so. And so it's gonna be Jack who wins the Sportsmanship Award for the Rockies. As that's always a phenomenal award to bring home in any sport. And so then well, I believe we'll also see an award handed to the Blue Jays team. And that's gonna be Gavin Taylor who picks up the Sportsmanship Award for the Jays. So, we'll see the runners up Rockies get their medals first. And we'll see the Blue Jays, the champions, get their medals.
And the Blue Jays are your champions of the junior division. And so that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. We came all the way to the finals all season long, and it was an intense battle between the two. But at the end of the day, your champions, the Blue Jays. Thank you all for watching. I've been Jacob Ewing. And, you know, subscribe to the channel as we have all your KBA action all coming right here. And so tons more games out of every single division, every single level of baseball. You won't want to miss it. I've been Jacob Ewing. Thank you for watching. One more time for the Blue Jays, your champions.